What is going on guys? It is Lego KC and it has been a hot minute since we have done a minifigure series. So I've got the Lego Movie 2 minifigure series. We've got all 20 minifigures from this series in front of us. Let's go ahead and get these things broken down because this series is pretty cool. And we've got some really crazy minifigures that they threw in here. Some things that we've never even seen before, some licenses that I'm honestly quite surprised that they got a hold of. So the first one we're gonna take a look at is Dorothy from dun, da, 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 The Wizard of Oz. This Dorothy minifigure, of course, Toto makes his appearance, but we'll take a look at that in a minute. So we've got Dorothy here. You see she's got her blue overall skirt, plaid, of course. You know me and the skirts. They are terrible. I do not like them. I'm not a fan. And it sounds like somebody's trying to ping me on the Xbox. Two faces here. You see the back one is the scared face because, well, she's not in Kansas anymore, guys. We've got this, the hair, the double pigtails that she's got is actually like a more rubbery material. Kind of like what they did with Batman's shoulders in the Lego Movie 2 sets, which is really exciting and really, really cool. And then you got on here the front smile, you see the braids and the blue bow ties as well as the pink lipstick. And then, of course, Dorothy would be almost nothing without Toto. Moving down the list, we have the Cowardly Lion and his Courage. Now, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about here and you haven't seen the movie, wow, <laughs> wow. That's all I'm gonna say. You see his tail here, you got his big lion mane, and of course, two faces. Ooh, if we can get this back off here. Happy face on the front, more of a content face. Well, this is technically the front. Let's go ahead and switch this around. It's just not happy enough. The Lego Movie 2 is just full of happiness. This guy needs to be happy. He's got his courage. He just needs to be a happy guy. Put his mane back on here. Straighten the face out. And we have the Cowardly Lion. Next up, we've got Scarecrow. And what does Scarecrow want? He wants a brain. Knowledge, wisdom. See, he's got the torn up Scarecrow torso and leg. Only one face on this guy. And of course, his certification of achievement because he's got his brain. The third and final, fourth and final. Wow, if I could count tonight. Tin Man, iconic axe and his heart. Because if I only had a heart, it's the Tin Man. He's got his nice little oil cap top here. You see he's got the tin face, his little bow tie, all the different joints and everything going on. Just a, a nice tattered torso here. Great, great minifigure. This was probably out of the Wizard of Oz theme that we've got going on here. The second best because nothing beats the cowardly lion i mean honestly nothing beats the cowardly lion next up we have sherry scratch and post and scarfield the mohawk kitty a little more uh intimidating because this is the apocalypseburg version than in lego movie one gray hair angry face because she's busy defending her spot Apocalypseburg, one face on her, and you can kind of see the details going into the back of her torso here, which is covered almost completely by her long gray hair. And then, of course, Scarfield, the Mohawk Kitty. They only included one kitty here, but I feel like they included the best one. So that's okay, we'll give Lego Movie a pass. Next up, we've got Apocalypseburg Benny, and Benny's always happy. Well, we see him get really mad in the movie, but let's just 
throw that one out because Benny is always happy. He's got his robotic arm here. Classic Space Squad logo on both his toolbox accessory and his torso. It's a little torn up here. Again, we've got his really, really super happy face because it's Benny, air tank on the back, and then let's just say don't make Benny mad. Otherwise, you'll get this face. And that's not the face you want Benny to make. Nobody puts baby in the corner. Now we've got Vest Friend Rex. The worst of the worst. Nobody likes Rex. Rex is a real jerk, you know? You see he's got his vest, his chaps. He's, he's real cowboy. He's got his cowboy hat. He looks more down under, if you know what I mean. On the back here, he's got his mischievous... Well, you know he's just up to no good. So we'll just leave that to your thoughts. And for those of you who haven't seen the movie... I'll let you kind of imagine here. And then, of course, his blue little T-Rex. Same T-Rex that we've got in the Jurassic World poly bag, except they just painted her blue, which is really cool because I like having these little T-Rexes, and heck, I might do that poly bag pretty soon. We've got DJ Emmett, Wiki Wiki. He's got his radio playing, Bluetooth speakers, Huge smile and his coffee. You can't beat this Emmett right here. Backside, just another smile because why can't you be this happy when everything is awesome? Then we've got Apocalypse Bird Lucy. She's got her angry little face here, glasses, nice little top piece, and her binoculars so she can look out for the aliens off in the distance taking that off you see how upset lucy looks in this one right here she just looks real angry spinning her around here she's got her bow arrows and a smile because she probably just got done hanging out with emmett or saw emmett we all know lucy loves emmett Then we've got Flashback Lucy. For those of you who haven't seen the movie yet, this is definitely a spoiler. So I do apologize for spoiling this for you, but it's going to be kind of hard not to because you can't look at this minifigure and not know what's going on here. we got a microphone, we've got the multicolored hair, and we've got a nice little jumpsuit here. Everything is awesome. Gold record. What does that mean, guys? Exactly what you think it means. Lucy is the writer of Everything is Awesome. This is her original jump up. Her singing face, happy face, and Lucy's actual hair color. Believe it or not, believe it. Because it is true. She puts on this fake front to look tough when all in reality, Lucy is the writer of Everything is Awesome. She's kind of a big deal. Another bandmate, of course, we've got Kitty Pop. Kitty Pop's got this nice little leopard print, a guitar and a microphone. You see she's got her kitty cat ears as well as some coral colored hair, whiskers on the face, and she is ready to pop a tune. She's got her cat tail and taking off this hair here on the back. She's got her really happy face as well as again, some nice little kitty whiskers. We've got the whole band here, by the way. Next up, we've got Hulu Lula. I'm assuming these are all her band. I'm just, I'm not sure. I can't really remember if it's in the movie, actually. She's got a little record here and a microphone, a nice little Hulu skirt, a nice lei and some really Hawaiian print torso. Nice little face here with some really bright colored hair. I love the bright colors. Again, with the Hawaiian back and another happy face because pretty much everybody's happy in this series for the most part. And the last band member is Candy Rapper. 
because everybody needs a hype girl. She's got her disc here, microphone here, nice little skirt, a lot like the Ninjago one, blowing a wink with her nice little pink blush and this crazy awesome hair she's got. Nice star and a little pink accent, light pink accent. And of course on the back, just another happy face because she's a rapper. It's the Lego Cardi B with pink hair. What do you know? Swamp Creature, just about as ugly as can be. He's got his whip here, Swamp Creature helmet. And then he's only got one face, but scrolling around to the back here, you guys can see he's got a little bit of printing on the back because he's got his scales, full scale exposure on the back because he's got his nice little suspenders. We've got Suspender Boy with this tattoo on the chest. Nice chains on the pants. And then we've got <laughs> probably one of the shortest rolls in the entire Lego movie too, which is quite comical if you ask me. This is Gone Golfing President Business. For those of you who've seen the movie, he uh, plays a very, very extreme role. Shows up in the beginning, takes off to go golfing, shows up at the end when the day is saved, and well, you know President Business. He's just a goofball. But I do love this minifigure because it's, it's actually really neat. I'll probably use this and uh, take it apart and use it in several minifigures. But you see we've got President Business's typical hair. He's got his checkered top. Very golf savvy. Real happy face because, of course, he leaves when the danger starts, gets back when the danger has gone. So what's there not to be happy about? Leaves. Comes back. And then we've got Apocalypse Abe. Apocalypse Abe is, in my opinion, the best in the entire set. This is the coolest minifigure in this entire set. Angry, Apocalypse Berg, Abe. Reminds me a lot of Abraham Lincoln Vampire Slayer, or Vampire Killer. I can't remember exactly what the title of that movie is, but one of the coolest movies. And this Abe Lincoln just reminds me a lot of it. Look at all the detail in the torso, the axe. He's got the awesome beard in the top hat, brown top hat with glasses. Angry face on the front, kind of content, happy face, double axed with the top hat on the back. But Abe Lincoln just looks like a total bad dude with this angry face. I could do for about a hundred of those. We've got Giraffe Guy. Let's not pretend like this isn't Jeffrey the Giraffe from Toys R Us. I mean, come on. Why else would they do this? He's got a nice little leaf accessory. Happy face. On the back there, a kind of sideways little smirk. But again, without saying it, they obviously added this to be Jeffrey the Giraffe. Don't sue me. But you know that's what it's for. Getting down to the final three, we've got Watermelon Dude. Pretty chill, he's got his watermelon in hand. Nice watermelon suit. Joe Cool glasses. Very plain torso because obviously it's covered up by a watermelon. And on the back, no glasses. Same smile though. But, Watermelon Dude. When you got dude in the name, you gotta wear dude glasses. Crayon Girl, very original name here. A nice little crayon drawing of a mini figurehead. And then, plain purple torso and legs, but if you scroll in closer, you see purple lipstick. And same with the back with the scrunchy eyes, purple lipstick. So they did a little minor detail in here with this mini figure. And our final mini figure. Drum roll, please. Unikitty with those sweet little blue eyes. This was the last minifigure that I got in this series. And for whatever reason, this was the hardest one to get. I do not know why. I normally just grab a bunch of bags. I don't feel around. So 
This was the one and only one where uh, props to the Lego store employee that had this sitting in his pocket and handed it to me when I told him I couldn't find it. But I have about 16 bags that I haven't opened yet and I have a feeling I'm gonna get probably five or six Unikitties in that bag just because it was so hard to find and now that I have it, I'm probably gonna have an overabundance of it. But that is the entire minifigure collection for the Lego Movie 2. This is all 20 minifigures. I tried to go in depth as best as I possibly could, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the um, different unique licenses that we have going on here. If you guys like the video, make sure you hit subscribe for daily uploads. Don't forget, put a ring on it, hit the bell below, hit the like button, and don't forget, come back and see the next video. Thanks for stopping by.